Hey guys, so today this is going to be the makeup look I'm going to be doing. I really just mostly just did the eyes, but I mean, it's a basic face. But it's a really, really pretty and super, super easy, like green, smokyish eye look using the L'Oreal. No, excuse me. <laughs> the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and my Violet Voss Pro Holy Grail palette. So super fun look, super easy, and I hope you guys enjoy this. It'll probably be good for prom, for other events, for life, for whatever you want to do. So if you like this video, keep watching it, unsubscribe, and comment down below. Hope you guys enjoy it, and thank you for watching. This is the most awful setup I've ever done. I mean, this is... This is Hey guys, so today, no, my face is really, really close, so I'm going to be doing a really pretty and actually pretty inexpensive, like, olive green, smoky-ish eye thing. So what I'm going to be starting off with, because I've obviously done my brows, but I haven't done the rest of my face. So what I'm going to be starting off with is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 0.5. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger. And I carved out my brows a little bit. So I'm just gonna do my left eye because this is easier. Please excuse that noise. My cat is playing with the curtains. It's probably gonna pull down a lamp. Lucille Clark, I swear to the Lord. But just gonna gonna pat this in. And please ignore the Gilmore Girls in the background. But I'm gonna just pat it in. Great. Right. So. After I prime it, I try not to use a whole, whole lot because otherwise it can get kind of cakey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take just any like really light color to use a translucent powder. Alright, so I'm just going to be using like a bone colored eyeshadow or whatever matches your skin tone. I'm going to get a flat brush and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on top of the concealer to set it. So. Just pat this all over. Really setting it. Sorry about these like awful angles. I'm trying really hard right now. Alright. And next, I'm trying to debate. I'm gonna take a very, very light brown color and I'm using this like little Too Faced phone thingy. But you can honestly take like any just light brown. We're taking this light brown color right here in a Fluffy Brinning Blush. This one is from Ipsy. It's the L34 Blend Beauty. I'm just gonna get a little bit on that and I'm just gonna start putting that in my crease. So. You just wanna blend it out. This is just gonna be a nice transition color so you can kinda see. And now I'm going to take this thing, which I'm actually really excited about, and I've tested this on my hand a lot. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art thing. See it? And this one is in the colors or oh, Desert Dazzle. But I got it for seven bucks at Wally World, Walmart, and it's actually really, really nice. I say it's worth it. I like it so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little like indie thing, kind of looks like a lip gloss applicator. Now I'm going to kind of rub this. Not take a whole lot because like when you first take it out, it has a lot of product. So just take a little bit of the product and kind of like just put it all over the lid. Don't want to put too much because this stuff starts to like break up a little when it um put too much i want to let this dry but you can see it's a really it's a really pretty green green so next after i let that dry a little bit i'm going to be using this palette it's the violet Blast pro palette the holy grail you can see by the hg in the bottom and again i'm going to be taking the same fluffy blending brush and i'm going to be using the color bestie you can see it right there it's just like a light, warmish brown. So this is like a very like warm eye look thing. So I'm just gonna 
hopefully hopefully these angles make sense to you guys I'm having a very difficult time but I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it in the crease blending it into this olivey green color it's okay if it looks weird right now because we're gonna build it up So after that's blended out a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a darker color. I'm going to take Are You Kidding Me? Look. I have to struggle so much. This color right here. Same brush. But I'm going to be placing it more directly in the crease and not blend it, like blending it out, but just kind of taking my time with it because this is going to help deepen it up. But you kind of just have to build it up and be patient with it. I don't know if any of you guys like Gilmore Girls, but I freaking love Gilmore Girls. I have an addiction to watching TV shows when I should be studying for things like, you know, finals. But, you know, this is fine. This is fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Nothing. I've just got eyeshadow on my face. Great. Fiddle. I'm gonna keep blending this out. And don't worry if like this like starts to look a little weird. We're gonna put it on again. It's just like you have to put it first, blend it, and then you gotta like build it back up later. I tried this earlier. It it's fun. It'll work. It's a really pretty like look, if, especially if you're going to prom and your dress is green. This is a pretty look for prom. Oh, it would be nice if I was organized, you know. Life would be nice. Things would be nice. But obviously, I'm not. <laughs> so, next I'll be taking brownie points. This warm, darker brown. So, what I'm going to do now... I'm taking brownie points with this like little baby brush. It's a real technique brush. It's this is it. Square detailer brush. It's really nice. I like to use it to carve out my brows. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of brownie points on this brush and I'm gonna put it like right in the crease to deepen it up. Since I have hooded eyes, I have to be like really careful when deepening up my crease, so I'm just trying to like Place it almost a little bit above my crease, and then we're gonna blend it out. Just gonna place a little bit at a time and windshield wiper motions. More on the outer corner than anything. in with that fluffy bunny brush and are you kidding me and I'm going to blend it out Ooh, well so I really like the way this looks so far and the green has faded a little bit and that's not a big deal so I'm going to take the rub on stuff again and I'm just wiping a little bit off because I don't want as much. I like this stuff. I like that it's creamy but the only thing is you've got to wait for it to dry and sometimes it's, it can be a little difficult to work with. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it like more in the center than anything. Almost like a halo eye. Ooh. Ooh. So after letting this dry, so I don't know if you can tell like a lot better after it's dry. I just put some more in like the center. The rest is faded out a little bit, but it looks pretty good. Kind of has that halo eye effect. What I'm going to do is do my under eye. Fun times. I'm bad about cleaning my brushes. I'm real bad. Pero, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the color Bestie again. 
this light brown with an angle brush. And I'm gonna do a little bit of under eye darkening ish stuff. I'm gonna go right on it's the waterline. my blending brush and like see if I can blend this out a little bit more and now I'm gonna go back in with that angled brush and I'm going to take are you kidding me just a little bit put it out on my outer corner we're so Do a final like last whoopsie do through. I'm gonna really make sure everything's blended how I want it to be. And I'm gonna do some eyeliner, but just a tiny bit. So I can find it. All right, I'm gonna just be using my NYC liquid liner in black. This is like two bucks from the drugstore. I'm just gonna do a really, really thin line, but that's it. I'm not gonna do like a wing or anything fancy. Hopefully, I can do this on camera because normally I can't. We get in the fights with thin pens, and I accidentally called you my husband. I'm gonna take my mascara. And this is the Maybelline Cat Eye Mascara, the yellow bottle, and it's waterproof. And I've been liking this better lately just because I feel like it helps separate my lashes a little bit better. I would be. I don't know much what I do. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I don't like wearing false lashes. I haven't found a pair that I personally like on me. I think I look like a bug when I wear them. So I typically don't. So this look, you are more than welcome to wear them. I'm just not going to because I think I look like a bug in them. Till I find, till someone finds me a good pair of false lashes that good, look good on my big hooded eyes. I'm going to be using this. Now I'm going to put a tiny bit on my lower lash line. More to darken my lashes, not to lengthen them. So I forgot to do this, so I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight. And I'm going to be taking the color Crystal from the same palette as earlier using the small little brush and I place it on the inside inner corner and then I'm going to put some on my brow bone alright so now I'm going to go do my other eye off camera, do the rest of my face, and come back. Da, da, da. Da, da, da.